So so yeah, let's let's take a quick look. Let's take a look. Did you see that they announced D3 season 29? I did. We actually have all the notes up right here. I'm getting rid of my commands here. So the first things first, I do want to talk about the um the patch notes. I do want to take a quick quick review of the patch notes that were released today um by our good old buddy old pal um over the guys over at Blizzard. Um, so I want to go over this because there's a few things that I, you know, I just don't, this is going to be a quick video, but I just don't understand what Blizzard's intentions are with the game. I like as a blanket statement, I honestly feel like what they're doing is they'll take a small step forward, like a half a step forward, and then they'll take like three giant steps backwards. So, um, but there's a few things that we're going to talk about. So let's go ahead and go over this and let's get into the nitty gritty of it. So gameplay updates, the wait time for the malignant monsters to spawn reduced from five seconds to two seconds. Now, again, guys, we've talked about how, um, and Asmongold really, really uh, expands on this of how like Diablo in its entirety, the guys over at Blizzard just want us to do things longer. Like, just take longer for no reason just to be on the platform longer because, uh, I mean, that's what their shareholders and everybody cares about. Hey, how many players do we got on the platform playing and how long are they playing? So, it looks good for the shareholders. So, again, why was this five seconds already? You know, we're just standing there waiting for the monsters to spawn, which take forever. Uh, and then we just, you know now we get to fight like you could be in the middle of a like a big mob fight and you're still waiting for this guy to spawn um so again a big time waster for no apparent reason but i'm glad it's down to two seconds it's the excuse me it's the same thing that happened when the worst patch of all time in gaming where they're like hey you know what would be really smart for and like our gamers and communities would love is that like you know when they go to teleport out of a dungeon why not make it last five seconds instead of three or two you know that seems good i mean they got to look at their gear right like they probably finished the dungeon they, they hit they hit teleport and they're like looking at their gear right they want to look at that before they teleport out and it's the same thing here like i feel like i can touch a malignant heart and then i could just wait a decade and a half uh to uh to fight a malignant monster just to get a crappy heart um, which is even worse because there's no heart that I actually need. I just need the barber. I don't need any other hearts. So um, I guess this helps. Um, players are now in the trade channel by default. Navigate to the in-game settings to opt out. I don't know why this is a thing. I guess. Uh, whatever. I don't know. That seems really weird. Bug fixes. This is the big one. Dungeons and events. Fix an issue where Nightmare Dungeons could be repeated by promoting other party members to leader. Fix the issue where the Gathering Legions event could stop progressing even after defeating all nearby monsters. I didn't know that this was a, a bug or an issue with Gathering Legions, but I'm glad that's fixed. Now, this one, this is the big one. This is where I say, like, Blizzard is taking a step forward, like in their recent patch, and now we're taking three giant steps backwards. Now, my community so kindly has pointed out a few things, so we're going to talk about it. So, Nightmare Dungeons. I don't understand why in an ARPG, repeating the same dungeon over and over again is an issue. That's number one. Number two, why, oh, why is it an issue now to repeat the same dungeon over and over again, especially if we're completing it? So there's a few ways to go about this, I think. One, I think Blizzard on the surface wants us to use sigils individually and not be able to redo the same sigil over and over again. So that's one point, and I could maybe understand that. But the issue is... You have all these other dungeons, one that just suck to play, especially when we're trying to do certain tasks, whether, whether it's gain EXP, 
or item farm. 90% of the dungeons in the game are bad for both of those points, which is in essence what you're doing in the end game. The only other thing would be to use dungeons to push to higher nightmare tiers. And even then 90% of those dungeons suck because of the layout and the monster types that you're actually fighting. Now, the other issue with this is in the recent patch, they removed three of the worst affixes on nightmare dungeons and pointed out by my community in discord because my discord has been going crazy is that some people believe that they remove these so that way when they do go well you can't repeat any more dungeons now you'll do other dungeons because the bad affixes are gone now that's an idea but again it still doesn't solve the 90 percent of the nightmare dungeons that we are going to be running which suck They're, the layouts are bad the monster typing is bad and overall, they do not go against the goal. They go against the goal that you're trying to do in the end game. Even with the direct teleporting to the nightmare dungeon, it still doesn't solve those other issues. So again, this isn't hurting anybody. Apparently, this is a, a technological bug in the game that Blizzard never intended to work when you pass priority to another person. Now... Again, even if that is a technical bug, why would it be an issue? Uh, my community mentions that it hurts solo players. So solo players are boo boo hoo crying, going wah wah wah. I can't do the same dungeon that a group of people can do. So now I'm going to wah 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 about it. So my my rebuttal to that is get in a discord there is many including mine go team up with some people it's honestly not that hard you're probably just a very lazy player if you're choosing not to get out and reach out to players to be able to reset the same nightmare dungeon because the thing is you only need one now even if you are gonna stay a solo player because you want a solo soft found or whatever fine great you can still do the dungeon and gain a bunch of xp go farm some sigils go farm some sigils you're actively choosing not to find one other person in the entirety of our world to go do one nightmare dungeon over and over again for a session so that's on you now my overall issue with this is why what's the reason and why would you take this out because now you're punishing the group play experience to cater to solo players who are being lazy about finding one other player in the world that's playing this game. So now you've already nerfed plenty of things with the group experience, and now you're doing it again. So uh, again, man, uh, like I said, I said it before in the last video about the patch that it was a small step forward, which it's really a half step. And now this is going to knock it back three more steps in the opposite direction. Uh, so now as a group, um, I guess it's we might everybody just get comfortable playing solo because that's what Blizzard wants you to do, which ergo further proves my point of it taking longer for you to do things. And even if if it doesn't take you necessarily too much longer to do things as a solo player, now someone like me who enjoys playing with my entire community and friends now this really hurts us because great now we just got to farm sigils after sigils and use them because blizzard wants us to use them for no apparent reason uh now on to the druid uh they fix some stuff with um certain aspects which is cool and then they fix some quality of life stuff with some um side quests and normal quests in the game and then some ui experiences with uh, the map, etc., etc. So you guys can definitely check this out. Um, this patch is going to go live August 15th, 2023. Uh, but I can tell you right now that the, the fact that we're not going to be able to reset dungeons is just really bad. There's, there's like so many dungeons that are just bad for absolutely everything. Um, especially when you're trying to like level up like tonight, I'm 96. We're going to spend the entire night resetting the same dungeon. So that way we can get to 100 in a very efficient time. Now, again, this further proves my point 
then now because we cannot do that unless you so happen to farm 20 or 30 of the same sigil which is not gonna happen it would take you days to farm this and find this now you're stuck running a bunch of dungeons that you don't want to run fighting monster types you don't want to, to fight and this also hurts any gear pieces that you're trying to target farm i want to target farm chest pieces so i want to farm this dungeon that has spiders well guess what you can do it once now your other sigil is going to go fight humans which doesn't help with that uh now i can't specifically target farm this is all just a big waste of time so um i have been pretty like patient in trying not to like rip blizzard as much as some other creators have but i mean this is just like this has got to be the last straw when it comes to that man right like everybody's got to take a stance right like they just keep doing things that are purposely making the game the experience longer and unnecessary like the casual like now you're hurting the casual experience even more you're hurting the casual experience even more more because now i gotta go farm all this stuff just to farm it for the sake of farming it like i have to oh and by the way they remove sigil dust from doing tree of whispers so now i can't even farm tree of whispers to get sigil dust to be able to craft sigils i have to literally hope i find a bunch of sigils in a nightmare dungeon to that way i can just farm those it's it's insane but anyway guys that is the new patch notes that are going to be coming out in a few days so comment down below let me know what you guys think about this like the video and as always stay gaming and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace